That is powerful. I need to actually see what he's uh, doing to make that lift up. Uh, oh, there it is. Okay, so he's got two pistons. Whoa! Oh, buddy. So is this going to actually lift it off the ground? Oh, dear. Oh, that is awesome looking. <laughs> that is probably the most detailed toilet I've ever seen in Scrap Mechanic. And can we set on it? Yes, we can. YouTube Moto Gaming here bringing you guys another episode of Scrap Mechanic and yes folks we're back once again and today we are back with another Discord contest. As you saw from the title today's contest is going to be all about construction vehicles and yeah it's been a while since we've done one of these. I think it's probably been at least five months but I want to get this back into like a normal swing so I think we're going to do one of these every two to three weeks. Uh, on the discord so if you don't know what a discord contest is people enter in a certain theme and they'll enter in uh, their creations we'll select 10 of them and then we'll show them throughout the episode and then you guys the viewers get to actually vote on the creation that you think is the best creation and then we'll reveal them in a later episode and they'll get some special uh, discord perks so yeah, we're going to be doing that here today. Now, if you have any ideas for future Discord contests, comment below. And if you want to join that Discord, I'll have it linked down in the description. If you want to either send creations or if you want to enter in one of these Discord contests yourself, you can do that. But yeah, if you're enjoying Scrap Mechanic on the channel, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. It helps out my channel. And let's do this. Alright, so we're going to start off here with Joe Train Gamer. He's got a Liber A922 rail. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Uh, this is pretty awesome looking. It looks like a, a good loader, except for I do believe this thing. Oh, this thing lags. Yeah, I should warn you guys, today is going to be a little bit more of a laggy episode. I mean, this is construction equipment, and everything's going to be massive. <laughs> Wait, there it goes. Okay, it settled out. Oh, buddy. So I think you can actually set this on the rails, huh? And Let's go ahead and move it over there because I think that's really its main purpose. So let's go and turn these here. Uh, is it good? Oh, it does fit on those, doesn't it? Huh? Let's set it down. All right, prepare for the lag. Let me go over the instructions real quick. Now, if you're new to the Discord contest, I try to go over these fairly quick. That way we can uh, get through the episode. Uh, so let me go ahead and read the instructions and then we'll jump into this one. Okay, so this thing's got a buttload. Yes, a buttload of controls. So let's go ahead and hop up in the seat here, close the door. I think it's four, it's either four or five. There's four. Four actually uh, lowers those rails. So it's like guide rails, so you can stay on top of the tracks. So I'm assuming this can, uh, it's a dual purpose. Uh, you can use it either on the tracks here, I guess to, I don't know if it replaces tracks. I would assume that's what it's made for. Or you can go out in the dirt, however you want to do it. Uh, it's pretty cool that that's uh, a feature here. And yeah, those guide wheels are actually working. So you've got those, or we can just raise them up here. Can we just drive off of this now, since we're not connected? Oh, that is too cool. And I think we're stuck. It's actually got blinkers too, I just noticed that. So if you turn left, the blinker goes on that way. If you turn right, the blinker goes on the other way. Uh, let's uh, get this off the tracks real quick. All right, so the two keys lights, three keys uh, additional lights, of course the four key is the railing. Five key actually, I think, uh, puts down these, uh, I guess they're called outriggers, or you've got your arms here, so this is going to uh, partially lift it off the ground uh, to keep it stable. That's a really neat feature. Uh, let's see, it looks like six and seven are your turning, uh, eight is arm down, nine is arm out, and I think ten is the bucket here. So it seems like the bucket and the arm, they're all on controllers. So you would have to actually adjust those to get different angles. Still very, very awesome. This is a beautiful creation. Uh, Joe Train Gamer never fails to uh, amaze me with some of his creations. So let's go ahead and, uh, oh, I don't want to hop out here. Oh, well, this gives you a little view of the cockpit here. Oh, let's jump back in and let's see how it drives. Drives pretty good. It is a bit laggy, but that's to be expected. I like this. I actually really, really like this. Uh, I like the uh, the dual purpose here, that it can work on the uh, railroad and it can just kind of do your general construction. Uh, I think that's a really neat feature. And I must say, uh, Joe Train Gamer, he's always been uh, one that's created a lot of railroad items. So it's kind of cool to see him incorporate that into his build here. So yeah, that's uh, Joe Train Gamer. If you want to vote on that, that'll be down in the description. 
All right, so the next creation is by Ben there. This is actually really cool. This is a skid steer, like a little bobcat, and it's got different attachments here uh, that you can attach to. So it's got a bucket, a drill, a roller, a fork, and a grapple rake. Uh, let's put this down. I always like creations like this. So you can cut any of these off and I guess weld it to the front. And, uh, oh, that's actually a really nice looking, uh, loader there. Skid steer. Skid steer loader. I always call it bobcat. People always complain because I call it the wrong things. <laughs> uh, we're going to go with a bobcat. I'm just going to call it a bobcat for now. Let's go ahead and separate. Ooh. Uh, which one are we going to put on? Uh, it looks like you got like a little roller. You got the normal bucket. That's the rake. Uh, that would be for like a forklift. I do like this drill though. Uh, that is cool. All right. So let's get our, uh, let's get our weld tool out here. There we go. And we're going to attach to that there. Does it have it marked out or is it? It's probably pretty straightforward to be honest with you. All right. So I was wrong here. Uh, this is actually really uh, pretty innovative. I thought you were going to have to weld each of these attachments on. Uh, no, you actually grab the attachments. So you can see there's two holes in it and you would drive up. Oh, OK. This is going to be a little, little sensitive here. It's tank steering. So you drive up and let me see if I can zoom the camera down. Uh, you can see we're going to poke into the two holes there. Uh, so I think we're in right now. And then we're going to press seven and oh, OK, maybe we need to be in. A, are we attached? Well, maybe we need to be in a little further here. Let's press it again. There it goes. So it's got it now. Uh -huh. Dude, that is too cool. I like that a lot. So you can make it go up here. You can make it go down. Uh, you can lift it back, push it forward. So we got a drill here and oh, OK, that is really cool. Now, it might be a little hard to see. He's got sensors on all the attachments in order to make a move. Like normally you would probably weld this to the uh, the Bobcat and then wire it up. But he's got the sensor system so you can hit that and it covers the sensor and so it makes all the attachments actually work that is awesome another cool thing this does have it's uh like your normal tank steering here i believe it's using maybe an ad converter i'm not 100 percent sure uh let's see let's go ahead and uh, raise this up here that is amazing this is probably the best uh skid steer loader or whatever you want to call it. this is probably the best one that i've seen and it's solely i mean that attachment system is awesome and the whole fact of the attachments actually work uh with the little invisible blocks or the glass blocks there that cover the sensors i fully expected to have to weld everything onto this but no you can just really just attach it to it and it works that is awesome i really really dig that all right so yeah mr uh ben there that gets some uh definitely gets some kudo points there that was a uh, that was a lot better than i expected at first i thought oh we're just gonna weld it to it it's just gonna be a cool little bobcat but yeah that my mind is uh, officially pretty blown there by that all right so let's uh go ahead and we're gonna move on to the uh next one here all right the next one's a little odd this is by garbuckle now garbuckle says he doesn't want you to vote for him because he's already won one of these but this is too cool. Now, when you think of construction vehicles, you probably think of loaders and everything else, but everybody forgets the important business. Like what happens if you gotta go to the bathroom? Now you're probably looking at this going, I think this looks like a normal truck, but no, this is a uh, full blown, I think there's wishbone suspension in here. Uh, let's pull it back out here. It is, uh, it's got wishbone suspension and AD converter for rack and pinion uh, style power steering uh, says the wheel can turn at more extreme angles it's a fully featured truck uh, so let's uh let's go ahead and detach those uh porta johns and see what we can do with them I'll tell you what this is a really nice flatbed huh let's detach those so what are we supposed to do are we supposed to just dump the uh dump the toilets off here on let's uh detach this one okay oh yeah oh it's a little laggy with those on top of there that's a I don't think we found a creation yet that doesn't lag somewhat. I don't think it's going to get too much better. Uh, ooh, that's a pretty nice interior. Hold on, let's go ahead and get in. Let's close the door. So two's your lights, three's your horn. You can see the engine. There's actually a fan and stuff turning. Oh, there's a lot of detail in there. Hold on, can we pop the uh, hood? That's the radio. Five. Oh, we're going to drop the toilets. Oh, there we go. Oh, are they going to skid off? 
Uh, let's see if we can push it off. Come on, toilets. Oh, they're sliding. They're sliding. We got to check those toilets out, too, to see what they look like. All right. Uh, can we go even further? Uh, oh! Oh, you can push it back. This is a full-blown flatbed here. Man, if you had, like, a winch system, this would be a good wrecker. There that goes. Let's go. Oh, there's the hood. I guess I'll give you guys a little look at the engine detail. That's awesome looking down there. All right, let's go close that and oh What the heck? Okay, I gotta read what that is. <laughs> is that supposed to be to help push stuff off? Oh, 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 come on. I, you know, we need to get those toilets off real quick. Those are uh, probably what's creating a good bit of lag here. Oh, there we go. That's quite a bit better. Yeah, those toilets were uh, how do you get a laggy toilet? Come on, scrap mechanic. Hold on, we gotta check though. Is there a is there a detailed toilet in here? Please tell me there is. What's this look like? Oh, let's pop this open. Oh, <laughs> that is probably the most detailed toilet I've ever seen in scrap mechanic. And can we set on it? Yes, we can. Oh, that is awesome. <laughs> All right, let's not spend too much time on the toilet here. All right, let's uh, make the truck transform back here. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. Now, he's done some uh, unique things with the turning to give it a more extreme turning angle. And, oh, yeah, you can see how far the wheels uh, shift over there in the front. And, oh, there's the blinkers. This is a cool truck. It's kind of weird. I can hear a gas engine, but it doesn't sound like it's actually powering it. This sounds like it's all electric. Uh, at least I don't think it is. Yeah, I can hear the gas. Sounds like the gas engine's just running. That's a nice truck. What would you say that is? Is that a Chevy or a Ford doesn't look like a Dodge. I don't know. Oh, let's run over the railroad track. Oh, we got stuck on the railroad tracks. Oh, let's just back off this. Oh, oh, it's even got the little backup horn. Oh, that's too cool. All right, Mr. Garbuckle. I know you don't want people to vote on you, but that's a that's a pretty awesome truck. And those are really detailed uh, porta crappers. So that's Garbuckle 3000's creation. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. All right, so for our next creation here, this is going to be a big one, folks. This is by Zombie1919NL. Uh, this is a mining drill. Now, Zombie1919, I've always considered him like a construction dude, and oh, dear. Oh, that is awesome looking. Hold on, let's put this, uh, let's not let it drop that hard. Let's, uh, let's lightly put this on the ground. Says he recommended doing it in a flat world, but this is actually uh, surprisingly not laggy. Now, take in, uh, or keep in mind that it's not in motion at the moment, but dude, that is a powerful piece of equipment. Look at that. Wow, that's almost frightening looking. So yeah, this is a huge mining drill. I mean, even just the detail on the drill itself, consider me very, very impressed here. All right, let's go ahead and, man, they still need a ladder. They need a ladder block and oh I disappeared. Oh I'm in an invisible block. Okay, um boop. There we go. Alright, so check out the detail. Like this is crazy. Uh so you've got um you know what I, I should probably read the instructions, but there wasn't too many controls, so I feel like I can I can do this. Let's go ahead and hop into the seat. Okay, let's go one. Oh, it goes by itself. Okay. There's your turning. Oh, there's where the lag is. Okay, the lag's in the turning. It's kind of cool. He uh, made it somewhat look like tracks down here, but there's actually uh, wheels and stuff here on the inside. There's a little bit of a view at the bottom of it there. Very cool looking. All right, so let's go two is going to start up the drill. You got like a little alarm going there. Uh, let's go ahead and stop it real quick. I'd like to actually see the drill turn. Uh, let's get up here. Oh yeah, you got like the spinning lights. Yeah, that is pretty menacing looking. <laughs> I must say. Oh yeah. Okay, so let's get back up into here. All right, so we got three is gonna be additional lights. Four, you've got your back emergency lights. Five is horn. Did I have a, have I never noticed that the horns actually do that? Oh, I never knew they expanded. Huh, okay. All right, so let's get moving here. Let's go ahead. It's weird. You can power it forward uh, with W, or I guess if you just wanted to automatically move it. There's an additional set of controls, which I think uh, you could probably control the drill uh, from the other side here. So let's go ahead and let's turn that drill off real quick. 
and let's go ahead and just kick this thing okay so let's hop out of here so we can kick this into gear so let it start to run so we've got is this a way to turn it on or what about this oh oh no this is a hatch to go down to the logic so all right let's turn that off so the drills there so we can just turn it on by going boom and the drills on okay and then we can climb under here what is what is this switch uh looks like it's maybe oh it's a, it's the lighting switch okay uh let's go ahead and take a look down here just kind of give you guys oh wait is there a dude zombie this is too cool there's a fully detailed engine in here does any of these hatches open to expose it a bit more i don't think so that's crazy hold on can we uh i can't cut this you know can we cut the i hate cutting into creations but i feel like i need to show you guys just the amount of detail here so we're gonna cut this off which looks like an oversized radiator and dude check that out he's got a full-blown engine in here uh yeah this is a very strong contender i i really really like this drill plus the steering on it uh let me go ahead and double check is the steering oh let's get back up here is this tank steering yeah it is tank steering too so just keep that in mind i'm just holding the uh the a key here that is most impressive. I, I really like that creation. So definitely uh, want to thank Zombie NL for entering the contest. If you want to vote on this awesome mining drill, do it down below. All right, my boy Car Crusher Creative has created a crane truck. There was a couple crane trucks in this one. Unfortunately, I had to eliminate a couple of them. Uh, it says it's slightly laggy, but it looks like you got your driver controls, uh, door, low beams, high beams, hazards. Then you got the crane controls, which are in the back. So let's go ahead and put this out. Oh, buddy. You know, Car Crusher is really a Brick Rigs player, but I must say his uh, scrap mechanic creations are also really impressive, too. That is detailed. That is nice. Very nice. Hold on, let's put it down. Eh, yeah, it's not too laggy. He had me uh, test this out ahead of time just to test the lag. Uh, it's not really that bad. It actually gets better at some points. Uh, it's really just because that loose crane on there. Hold on, check out the, uh, oh, yeah, that's a, that's a spider web there. Wow. Woo, that's a, yeah, that's a lot. Okay, can we, uh, let's just pop this door open real quick. I guess we should go ahead and test out the, uh, the driving controls and show you guys that, yes, it does have a full-blown interior on it. Oh, let's get down here. Very nice looking interior, by the way. Uh, very detailed. Got a little backpack setting over there. Let's go ahead and do this. Close the door. So you got your main lights, you've got your additional, like your high beams, uh, you've got your, that's going to be your hazard lights there, and then I'm thinking there's a left and a right turn signal if I'm not mistaken. Oh, there's your uh, windshield wipers too. Oh, let's go ahead and drive this. Does this uh, turn off? Oh yeah, it turns off all the uh, the front four tires. Uh, ooh, oh, that drill is a little, okay, it's wanting to move. Is there a way to, you know, there probably is. I probably need to read that. There's probably a way to uh, lock that, uh, I said drill, the uh, the crane in place. But yeah, ooh, that turns really good. That steer, the steering's really nice on it. The driving, it picks up, got a lot of pickup. Uh, the suspension, it moves a lot. That is a very nice creation. I do see outriggers on it, so I'm assuming we're going to be able to plant this thing into the ground and then actually lift the crane. Uh, you can see some additional uh, construction items there on the back, some cones, stuff like that. All right, uh, let's go ahead and let's hop out here. I like the driving and everything, but this is a crane, so we need to use the crane part. All right, so we're gonna go around to this side. Let's go ahead and pop open the crane door. I like equipment like this. This is really cool, so let's go ahead and check out the cockpit here. Let's go ahead and close our door. Okay, so did I miss the outriggers? Are they actually, hold on, are they here on the side? Oh, they might be on the side here. I'm assuming that's what this is here. Hold on, let's click these. There we go. There we go. That's awesome. So that's going to stabilize the crane. Okay, so yeah, definitely do that before you actually start activating the crane. So it's going to come out. It's got the truck propped up, so we shouldn't move now. All right, here we go. Now it's starting to lift. That is powerful. I need to actually see what he's uh, doing to make that lift up. Uh, oh, there it is. Okay, so he's got two pistons that are actually lifting that arm up. Wow. Okay, that's impressive. 
So you can turn it left and you can turn it right. So we can go ahead, hold on, let's go ahead and start moving it here. So you can move those. You can extend the crane out, which it's doing right now. How tall is this crane? That's pretty cool. Now it does the, uh, one thing I don't know if it does. Yeah, I don't think the crane actually lowers its, uh, as far as the little winch. I don't think that actually lowers. It looks like that's at a pretty static uh, level. It's just really there for show. I mean, I, I suppose you could actually grab something off the ground and lift it up, but the uh, there's not like rope or anything that comes out. That would be a really cool uh, part in scrap mechanic if we can get something like that. This is cool though. I really, really like this. Like I said, Car Crusher, uh, mostly a Brick Ricks player, but when it comes to scrap mechanics, definitely a no slouch there. He's got a lot of awesome uh, creations. And he's a very, very talented builder. So I really like that. That's probably one of the best, if not the best, mobile uh, crane that I've ever seen in Scrap Mechanics. So if you want to vote on that, Car Crusher Creative, that's going to be down in the description. All right. So Mr. Nightshade has created us a uh, cherry picker here, which I could actually use this <laughs> in Scrap Mechanics. Sometimes I need to get up to certain areas and I don't want to pull out a flyer. And oh, that's nice. That is very nice. That's using, I believe those are the, are those the flex wheels? Or there's a wheel pack in here that we allowed for the competition. And oh, that's a, uh, that's beefy looking. All right, so you can see the, uh, the spider web here. I'm assuming, there's the driver's seat. Let's hop up in here and check this out. Man, you know, a lot of people, a long time ago, I was gonna create a construction world, but then I realized I created a crane for the old town and I realized just how laggy construction items are. So I was like, man, we'll create like one item and it won't go any further than that. Uh, oh, this has got rear steering. Oh, that's really nice. You know, that steering's, oh, and that is piston steering. Let's see if we can get an angle of that. Uh, oh, and here we go. That's somewhat, you can see if you look up at the top of the screen, there's pistons there. So when I turn left or that's turning right, or you can see these extend out. Wow. So it pushes the piston out and then it actually pushes suspension too. That's a very cool way to steer this. So I'm assuming we can, can we work the, okay, we can work the cherry picker from down here. Or I'm assuming we can get up there and manually click the buttons. So say we're on the side of a building or something. Oh, it's actually got the, are those the correct arrows? So if I go boom, this is gonna, up, oh, lifts us up. So if I release that, it's, oh, it does stick. Oh, cool. All right, I wasn't sure if that was gonna stick or it was gonna try to retract here, so... There we go. Wait, how far does this go? Oh, I guess it folds all the way as far as you need it. Does it go up any higher? Oh, and I don't see any additional pistons. There's a lot of bearings in this. It's actually, uh, it's quite remarkable there. All right, I don't know if you can extend it any further, but we can go left and right. Okay, that actually retracts when you release. No? does it sometimes it feels like and then okay so that'll make us go that way that's a still a I say it's still a pretty decent height I would assume if you needed additional height you could probably place a, like dual pistons or something down there uh, I don't think this thing's too heavy now you might need a counterweight once you do that because you'll be going higher and away from the uh, vehicle but still so yeah the JCB mr. nightshade this is a pretty impressive little cherry picker I like this I actually like this a lot. I like the steering too. Uh, it's not too often that you see uh, some sort of a uh, piston steering, so uh, definitely kudos to that. But yeah, that's Mr. Nightshade. If you want to vote on him, that's going to be down in the description. And let's go ahead and move on to the next one. All right, for the next one, we have a huge dump truck. This is by Blazeburn. Let's go ahead and go booming. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that is a monster. Not too complicated either. Okay, I, I'm pretty sure this, all right, let's put this down. Ooh, you know what? I really expected that to lag, but I guess the whole fact that it's actually not that complicated of a creation that I can see. There's quite a few bearings jammed up in there. What kind of turning is this? Huh, this is almost like a, an arm turning, but it's, it's actually made out of blocks and stuff. That's actually kind of cool. Look forward to seeing that work. Now, Mr. Blazeburn, uh, I am a short person. I I need a I need a little assistance here, huh? Let's uh, wait. There isn't a okay. I was trying to see if there was a block, maybe a, a seat block there. Let's cut this off here. All right, let's walk up here to the top. 
This thing is just massive. <laughs> wow. Uh, let's open that up here. Oh. What's up with these cups on this? Is this really... You know, I think Scrapman does this in his uh, multiplayer Monday builds because it's a stabilization method or something. But it, I think it's a load of uh, you know what. But uh, I don't, I don't quite understand it. All right, so the turning here. I'm trying to wrap my head around. Well, it indeed works. I just don't know how it's working. Like I really can't. It, you don't see much movement in the wheel. That's strange. I mean, it turns actually pretty good for a big dump truck. You just, you're not seeing a whole bunch of wheel movement yet. You saw some there, but it's because the, uh, I think it's, ooh, it's do oh, it's doing some weird scrap mechanic stuff. Scrap mechanic, scrap mechanics, yeah, scrap mechanics drunk right now. Oh, that is piston steering. That's what that is. That is cool. Hold on, I gotta reset this. Scrap mechanic decided to explode on us, folks. All right, so we are rolling once again. Let's go ahead and click the one key. Oh, that's cool. All right, so we've got that. This has got to be using those lightweight blocks. So one piston just lifted that whole bucket up. All right, so we've got that. Let's go ahead. Let's attempt this piston steering again, which is always very cool, but I don't know. Scrap mechanic sometimes just doesn't like certain things. Oh, let's go ahead and turn. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Did we break it again? I think we broke it again. <laughs> it's so glitchy. It's so glitch. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> what the heck, Scrap Mechanic? I can tell you it does work. I mean, it initially did, but I think there's something... Like, once stuff starts to screw up the first time, you pretty much need to reset the world. Uh, because this is not going to get any better. You know, it's actually steering pretty decent now, once that's out. Uh, still, nonetheless, a very cool, uh, huge dump truck here. Uh, you use it for all your dumping needs. Would be nice if we could actually stick a bunch of loose items back. Oh, actually, no, I didn't notice the door swings open. That's cool. Yeah, it would be nice to be able to stick a bunch of uh, loose items in that and actually dump them out, but uh, I'm not sure Scrap Mechanic would like that. That is awesome. So yeah, I definitely want to thank Mr. Blazeburn for sending that over. If you want to vote on that, you can vote on the extremely huge dump truck. Alright, so we've got another creation here called the Behemoth. This is by Kung Wu. Uh, this already looks impressive and I haven't pulled it out yet. And Oh dear. What is this? What? Wait, what is that in the middle? Hold on. Okay, let's let's go ahead and go. Ooh, oh, that is laggy. Oh, those are some really nice construction. Oh, those are really really nice wheels. Wow. Okay. So uh, let me look this up real quick. Okay, so apparently this doesn't have instructions on either this or the workshop. So we're gonna go in here a little blind and guess what happens. Those look like huge arms that fold out and stabilize this and. There's something... Oh, is that a big... Oh, is this a crane? I think it's what it is. Hold on, let's walk into here. All right, so... Let's drive it around. Oh, that is laggy, but that is cool looking. Dude. Check that out. What kind of suspension are we dealing with? Just normal suspension? Yeah, it looks normal. All right, so we've got that. You can drive around. Let's go ahead and get into a little bit more open area here. And I'm almost 100% sure that's what this is. It's just a huge crane. I've just, uh, is this real? I've never seen anything like this. Uh, it's cool looking. All right, so let's go, let's slow it down. All right, let's go ahead and hit one. Whoa! Oh, buddy, so is this gonna actually lift it off the ground? Hold on, it just folded out. Okay, there goes the uh, little arms down. Oh, there it goes, okay. And yeah, we're slightly off the ground. It did it. That was a cool little transforming uh, method there. I, I like that. That was uh, that was awesome. And now I'm stuck. Oh, there we go. All right, so bear with me on the lag here, folks, because we got to unfold this, huh? And I think we go on the other side here. Uh, or maybe we go in the front. Maybe it's open. There it is. All right, there is a buttload of controls here. Let's go and hit the switches first. Okay, that's close. That's go down. Okay. Let's see. How how does this work? I wish I had instructions here, but we're gonna wing it. Okay. Oh, that's okay. That goes up. I'm assuming this one goes down. Okay, that folds it out. Okay, so this is like a big crane arm. That is cool. That's really cool. 
All right, so let's fold that out. Okay, that's folded out. Let's go. Okay, that folds it in. Let's go. What is that? Folds it like that. All right, so we have a huge arm here. And then, of course, you've got the nine, which makes that go. Does it go? Oh, that goes pretty far down. And then your 10 will close that. So, yeah, it's a huge crane. Now, does it? I would assume it turns left and right with A and D? Or does it turn? Maybe it doesn't turn left and right. It might just be static. Oh, there it is. Okay, so it's going to be one and two. All right, so we can do that. Oh, let's lift this thing up. That's cool. That is really cool. I love those arms that come out and stabilize this. Yeah, it's not moving at all, so it's hard to see, but it is off the ground. It's not like off the ground that much. I would say maybe a couple inches, but it's definitely not on the ground at all. Uh, let's go ahead and spin this around. I like this. This is definitely really cool. It looks awesome too. Like this is just a mean looking creation and go around this way. It's like a, a big giant toy claw or something. I like that a whole lot. Oh, let's get one more. Uh, let's get a view of this while we're standing out here. Oh yeah, buddy. That is, that's awesome. I love me some heavy machinery. All right. So yeah, that's Mr. Kung Wu. So if you want to vote on that, that will be down in the description. All right, so for our last creations here, we have a couple steamrollers. This one's by Pegitoros. I don't know what I'm saying right here. Uh, I couldn't choose between the two because they both look actually really nice. Like, this looks like a legit steamroller, and I really do uh, like what he used for the actual roller itself. I've made a steamroller, and it was basically one of those big, uh, big tanks, I believe. Uh, let me pull one out here. Yeah, a long time ago, I used uh, those right there as the roller uh, for the old town. But yeah, he's got these uh, wheels on here, and he's put them all together. That's pretty cool. Uh, Steering-wise, it does steer in the back. It's got suspension right here. At least, no, is that no? That's a static. No, that is a suspension piece. So you've got that. You got the free rolling, uh, the roller up in the front. Oh, let's go ahead and hop up in here. Let's get a look at the cockpit real quick. Oh yeah, it's nice and compact. Okay, so let's go. There we go, we can turn, and we can roll stuff over. Fine, let's see, there's a there's a switch here, is there not? I see the lights are hooked up, oh. Oh, they're hooked into the horn, that's kind of weird. All right, let's hop back up into here. All right, so yeah, we can drive around, a very, uh, very neat looking. I really think some people probably would have questioned if I didn't have some sort of steamroller in this competition. Uh, let's hit something. Does that uh, suspension, is it resisting any right now? Uh, here's a hill over here. So we'll go plant it up against this one. Here we go. And Oh, oh yeah, it's definitely given. That's, uh, that's actually pretty genius. I think uh, when I built my steamroller, it was uh, just static. So it didn't give like that. So this would definitely work really good. I'm still kind of questioning the, uh, the lights hooked up to the... Uh, to the horn somebody miswired something but other than that this is a, a very nice steamroller and oh just ran into to the uh ran into the tracks here so yeah i've got this steamroller what's that oh, okay that doesn't do anything uh but i have one more here so let's stick this one over to the side i, I just couldn't choose between the two uh so let's stick that one there i've got another one this one's by pn 12f butters this is another steamroller here uh, different, uh, look. Now, it does have the same roller, though. I, I thought that was kind of odd how both of these had the same style roller. This one's just a little bit bigger one. Uh, but this one turns different. This one actually turns off the roller in the front. Now, question is, which way is the correct way? Do steamrollers normally turn off the back wheels, or is it this front piece? I'm not 100% sure. Let's go and get into this, because we got lights, and number three is not connected to anything. You know, I almost say I prefer the, maybe the back method? But is that correct though? I don't know, I, I'm pretty sure I'll have some construction dudes uh, comment on the uh, video here and let me know which way is the actual correct way. Now, as far as little details, you can see the little sign on the back. Uh, the wheel itself does actually turn. Uh, you can see the little steering wheel turns with the, uh, the scrap mechanic character. So I thought that was pretty neat. So yeah, since we had, uh, two steamrollers, I was like, you know what? We'll go ahead and let them both in because they are both really pretty awesome creations here. So we can roll around here in the grass. They really need to add some destruction physics. I want to roll some stuff over and destroy it. You know, I actually think that's something that they're thinking about. Uh, they're going to have, I think in an update coming up with the, uh, the potato gun, they're also going to have some sort of, uh, 
destructible blocks, but I don't know if you can just like run into them and destroy them. I kind of hope you can. But yeah, that's definitely a pretty cool creation there by Butters. But anyways, folks, that's going to wrap it up for this episode of Scrap Mechanic. Do remember to vote down below. It's going to be a little poll and just select which one you think is the best creation or the best construction creation here. I'm not going to say which one I like the best because people will probably be biased towards me. So I'm not going to say which one I think is the best. I'll uh, say after the competition and after the voting. So yeah, we'll let this uh, poll run for about a week and we should announce a winner on the Discord and it should be in a video too. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Thanks to all the people that actually uh, joined in and entered stuff. Uh, I know it's kind of a shame I can only pick 10 of them, but just for the sake of the video, I, I couldn't show all 19 of them. There's just way too much there. So definitely thanks for everybody who entered in their uh, creations there. Uh, we'll be holding another one very soon, so if you want to join the Discord, that's down in the description. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Scrap Mechanic, and we will see you guys next time. Thank you.